everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. 1999, these cars, the Prowlers from 97 uh, uh, to the early 2000s, so few of them are built, so few of them left that are one owner, low miles, garage kept, taken to shows only, garaged at home, garaged if I took it to work, not driven in the rain, this is that car. So you say, you say, well, Tone, I've seen some Prowlers for a thousand less than this car, 2,000 less for this car. You're absolutely right. You can definitely buy one for less, but you can't buy one that's nicer. And I will share this with you too. There's a nice little touch that many people do, right? And that's the bumper elimination kit on these vehicles. So you take these off, imagine what this looks like with that missing there. And then they move this marker light right into that slot right there. And it changes the whole front end of the car. It looks really cool. Now I can't do that for you, but you can do it yourself and I can help you uh, at least source the kit to get that done. Anyway, uh, we'll walk around. We'll look at the red paint. These are hand built cars on an assembly line, the same assembly line that they were building the Vipers on, right? All Team Viper and Team Prowler were all together. This is an all aluminum chassis under here. And then you'll hear people say, oh, but it only has a V6, not a V8. Let me tell you something. Don't listen to a word they have to say. Overdrive automatic, a V6 with plenty of guts and only 2,500 pounds. 2,500 pounds when a Mustang weighed 3,400 pounds and a Camaro weighed 3,800 pounds. This car was almost 50% lighter than all of those still with 250 plus horsepower. So it's like having 400 horsepower. This thing rolls down the road. Big brakes all the way around and great inside. This is a super cool car. This is like a modern uh, street rod and that's exactly what it is, but it drives cool. And the best part about it is when you're driving down the road, right? You can watch the wheel move up and down. You can watch the wheel turn as you're going around corners and no other car really does that. It's really cool to watch that. All right, let's take a quick peek at factory paint because these are hand painted cars because they were handmade cars. And I think you're gonna find the paint quality to be really, really good. All right, so let's take a quick peek at this right here. The quality of the paint is really nice. Under these harsh lights and things like that, you can read all of the letters. You can see everything in there. You can read your watch and the time and what have you. It just, I don't know, it's really nicely done. Painted, then wet sanded and buffed, and you can tell it was done by hand. The nice thing about this is this is beautifully taken care of. You might want to think about even putting a clear bra on here just to protect it for the rest of its time because this one has been preserved really well by somebody. All right, so forget the fact that this is a cool design car because the underneath of this car, built by the same people who built the Viper, has a lot of incredible suspension pieces to it, right? This car handles really well, and I'll show you why. It has inboard Coney shocks, so instead of having the shocks out there where you can see them and what have you, and then being in the way, that also adds weight to the wheel. They're called unsprung weight, right? So it makes the wheel heavier, it makes it more difficult to uh, make a good ride out of it. So they move it inside like they would a race car. These are inside here. Uh, they say Coney on them, and then the suspension is done by rods. This is uh, aluminum uh, pieces in there big disc brakes all the way around. And the part that I really like the most, forget the fact that it's a beautifully, beautifully done car technically and, and that, I'm talking more about the condition of the car because I get excited when I find a really, really nice car. This has all the original decals and things like that. The original hood pad is in there. And on top of it, these are easy to service. Parts for them are really inexpensive and uh, they have a couple bolt-ons that you can get a lot more power out of them if you wanted. You don't need to do that because it really is just a great, great car just the way it is, and it rolls on down the road. But anyway, this is kind of cool. You can adjust the levels of uh, the headlights. It already has those levelers built in. Just they gave some real thought to this car and putting all that detail stuff together. And fit and finish is great. All right, so back here, all right, this is kind of cool. Got a little bit of storage back here. Then you also have the uh, convertible top. And I have to tell you that I'm not sure there's any car that looks better with a top up than this car. It looks like it's only this tall away from the bottom, but the, you sit really low in it, so it's really cool. And glass window, right, with a rear defroster. So this is really a all weather car and the stereo system is really nice. This is their top of line infinity sound system. And inside is buried a lot of speakers, right? And then you can seal it all up and it just looks amazing from behind. All right, so come on in, join me in here for a second and let's look around. This is a roomy car with some great modern touches, but retro street rod. The dash designed like a 30s vintage uh, Ford or Chevy Dodge street rod that we get here all the time. Uh, but throw in like the tack right here, the tiny little tack right in the middle of that. We would have added that. 
but this also has modern stuff like leather interior, that great ceiling top, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, uh, heating and air conditioning controls. Like this is a modern, modern car you could go away for the weekend with. Uh, and it's just so, so comfortable. Not to mention the sound system is great. The exhaust sounds really good too. Wait till we hear that. A couple other features I love about this, 150 mile an hour speedometer. They were proud of this car. They knew that this car was fast, full gauges. The best part about this is it's showing 7,792 miles on it. It's amazing. But I do like this. This is a nice feature where you can actually uh, shift it this way and do a manual. So you can keep it, hold it in gear as you're going around a corner if you want, and shift it up and down. And it really works called auto stick. And uh, I've driven it that way a couple times, and it really is kind of cool. You use the engine braking to come around a corner because it handles really well. You'd be surprised that like a street rod style vehicle would handle and do so well, but it really is a nice feature. One of the best parts of this car is the wheel and tire setup. I'm a wheel and tire guy. I love to change wheels and tires and things like that, but I wouldn't change a thing on this one here. 20 inch rear wheels, 17s up front, gives it a ridiculously different stance. It's only three inches difference between the wheels, but they've tricked you by putting a higher profile tire here, right? And they've given you your eye, uh, they trick the eye showing it how big it is. But you do have some nice stuff in here, buried inside, four wheel disc brakes, right? All of the modern stuff, independent suspension in the back. I mean, just uh, beautifully done. And they, they piece together some components on the car that not only work well, but they're easy and, and inexpensive to service. All right, so we'll close up this video and run down a couple of the bullets that make this car a little bit different than some of the other ones that are out there. One owner car, right around 7,000 miles on it, driven less than 500 miles a year, right? This is a show car. This is a car that's awesome. And it's modernized, right? It's great looking, right? We are gonna, that's the reason why we're looking at this video and the pictures of the car because it's already great looking, but it's modernized in the sense that it's air conditioned and power windows and a beautiful stereo system and just cool looking when it goes down the road. And uh, the build quantity is low. It's destined to be a collector car over time. And I was just looking at something real quick. It's on our website for less than 500 bucks a month in the $400 a month range uh, with the, the payment that's on there. That's an amazing car for that, right? And the good thing about it is when you're done paying for it, you got 40 or 30 or whatever the car's worth at the time uh, in your pocket. It's not worth half a few years from now, like maybe a brand new car might be. So anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, beautiful, beautiful Prowler. And don't forget, if you would, share that video there and, uh, and make sure you like our page. We put a lot of effort into that and we're gonna go for a test drive, so make sure you stay for that ride. Thank mm -hmm. you.